Hey, what's up cousins? Welcome back to the channel. How are y'all doing this good old day? So, um, it's going to be hard to find our medication. We just going to have to get into it. We're going to have to talk about it. Um, how are y'all doing? What's today? Sunday on this Sunday of all day. Super Bowl Sunday. Matter of fact, who y'all rooting for? Let me know down in the comments. Who are you rooting for or if you don't even care? So I'm up late and I decided to pre-record this because um, I have my, uh, I'm making pulled pork for tomorrow. So it's in the crock pot right now. I will be making a video on that. I've already done it. I just have to edit it. But let's get into this story right here. Please give this video a like as it does help the channel. And if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button because we would love for you to become one of our family members, which I call you cousins over here because we family um and i see youtube is unsubscribing a lot of people from me hopefully it's youtube and not other people just saying oh i don't want to know the news i don't want to know this i don't want to know that um but whatever it is i'm gonna keep bringing you news you can use i'm gonna keep bringing you homesteading over here as well so let's jump to it let me share my screen with you guys Okay. I kind of want y'all to see it. Uh, so Rite Aid has announced the closing of 72 stores in 2024, including seven of them in Pennsylvania, y'all. More places are filing for bankruptcy. And they are closing multiple stores, not just pharmacies. Banks are doing this and not filing for bankruptcy, but just closing. And other grocery stores are doing this as well. It says that Rite Aid has announced the closing of 72 of their stores, including seven in Pennsylvania. The company announced the closings in five different bankruptcy filings so far in 2024. That's a lot of filing for bankruptcy one store so right aid which was based in east pennsboro township near camp hill for decades it is now based in philadelphia filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy in october to begin restructuring to signify um to significantly reduce its debt now i can understand that because I'm not filing for chapter 11, not filing for any kind of bankruptcy, but I'm restructuring my household and how I'm running it. But the only thing is, it's only going to affect me and my family. This is going to affect thousands of people. OK, um, these are the seven stores in Pennsylvania that the company has announced so far this year that will close. You see here, 501 South 29th Street. 200 North Antrim Way, 60 uh, South Water Street, 1600 9th Avenue, 6822 Hamilton Boulevard, um, 472 North Main Street, 200 Kimberton, uh, Phoenixville. And these are all different counties within Pennsylvania that's closing these right aids. Right aid provides the following statement to its customers. It says that Rite Aid regularly assesses its retail footprint to ensure we are operating efficiently while meeting the needs of our customers, communities, associates, and overall business. The connection with the court supervised process, we notified the court of certain underperforming stores. We are closing to further reduce rent expense and strengthen overall financial performance. At this time, we have not made or confirmed any decision on additional specific store closures as part of our financial restructuring process. So that tells me there will be more than just 72 stores that will be closing down. Uh, it says, overall, the company has announced 380 store closings in bankruptcy filings, including 43 in Pennsylvania. So again, that is a lot of stores that are closing. Um, we have some grocery stores that are closing too. I know a grocery store called Wise or West, W-E-I-S-E, -E, is also closing. 
Um, I believe they're located somewhere in New York. But again, they are closing. Walmart is closing stores. Even though Walmart is opening up 150 stores, they say, or restructuring or remodeling 150 stores and opening up more stores um, by 2029, they're still closing locations. If they're underperforming or if crime is just too much, they are shutting these places down. So I wanted to bring you a quick news story and I will see you guys in the next video. Please turn on your notifications if you have not and check to see if they're still on because sometimes they will flip them off and you won't get notified. And I do typically post more than one video a day. I don't know if I'll post two videos today because it is Super Bowl Sunday, but we just have to see. So I love you guys, but God truly loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tommy Bites TV and Homestead. And you guys, y'all take care. I really, truly appreciate all of the support that you give. And it really does help the channel when you watch, you know, all the way through or at least the first five minutes of the video. Um, I'm trying to make the videos a little bit shorter. So I hope that helps as well. And share me out with your family and your friends so they can know the news that they can use. Bye, y'all. I'll holla.